All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy B. Bullet RC coming you guys again with yet another. Wait, if the weekend is almost over, so y'all already know what time it is. It's time to get into this week's heat. Oh. All right, where we get into the latest sneaker releases, sneaker rumors, or anything I want to talk about in the sneaker or street world world, that is what we do here today. And remember, if I don't talk about a shoe, either I forgot about it, didn't edit it in, or it was just that. Ba -so -da. That! I didn't want to expose you to it, but you come to the channel, you know what I do. I I'm gonna expose you to it. As always, make sure you go ahead and drop a like on this bit. We have to please the algorithm gods and finesse the bell as well. This week, I got on my computer thinking that there wouldn't be but so many releases. I take one week off because of Super Bowl Sunday and we got a ton of new heat, new leaks, and some confirmed rumors or deconfirmed rumors to get into. And this week's Basuda, we about to take y'all back to medieval times. You'll understand once you see it. Listen, the intro is over. I won't take up any more of your time. Let's get into this week's heat or hype. First things first, we're gonna get into this week's releases. And I want to get in this joint right here because I have some questions about the last time I wore it. This is the brand new six shooter flannel, a brand new design of flannel from Sample. Y'all be going crazy when we drop the flannels. Yes, flannel season is here. And this is a brand new joint. Now, we're going to be dropping these on the 26th this Saturday. And these are mid to heavyweight flannel jackets. Materials on these new ones. If you copped any flannel from before, especially something like the Beef and Brock, this is very similar to that. Now, this one's called the six year flannel because on the front, I just got lucky because sample is six letters. You got the six chambers. That's all over embroidered in. Double front pockets, black buttons on the front and then you flip to the back more embroidery tackle twill as well we dropped a lookbook a full lookbook if you want more photos more details but yo it's up it's live right now and i guess i'll show you the special little detail one thing that we do with every release to just make it a little bit more special is do a custom tag y'all see it right here si with the barbed wire the bullet hole xl i would say go true to size and then on the back it does say i count six shots and for cleaning instructions on the bottom wash cold hang dry so this is the brand new six shooter flannel dropping on saturday every flannel that we have dropped has sold out so i'm just giving y'all a heads up saturday is the day okay back to the shoot first up this week we got the brand new air drone one brotherhood i'm not going to talk y'all's heads off about it right here because i have a full review that is up and live right now so if you want to check out the review i will leave a link down to that below for the next one we actually have a restock but this was for australia exclusive so salute to australians because i did see someone comment and let me know when I was saying, yo, New Balance should restock the protection pack. They told me that, yo, they have already restocked in Australia actually this week. So what a coincidence. So if you are in Australia, the protection pack did restock. I bring them up because, hey, congrats to Australia. But New Balance, the U.S., we would like a restock as well. At least I would. I'm pretty sure a lot of other people would too. So, you know, do that. Another two pairs that dropped were these brand new bases. Now. These joints right here retail for about $320, and these both are part of the outdoor collection. Now, I checked on bape.com or us.bape, and they were sold out there. But if you do have a boutique around you that sells bape, hey, they might have them actually in stock. Both colorways of these, as soon as I seen them, I thought Nike ACG, but both colorways are hard, and I definitely like that teal colorway. Almost would kind of match what I'm having on right now. I mean, I'm very loud, and... The shoe is very loud too, but I do like that teal joint. Getting into some mid news, Air Drone 1 Miz to be exact, we have a retro of the original release in 2007, Air Drone 1 XQ or Jing Chi. I think I'm saying that correctly. Now these also retroed in 2013, nine years later they're bringing these back. Not something that I would personally be going for, but if this is a shoe that you have or that you beat down at this point because it's almost been a decade since they dropped, Hey, a new pair should be coming out soon. No release date on these yet, but 2022, they'll be coming back. I mean, we have these foes right here, which are official images, so I would assume spring, summer this year. This week, we also got some Nike sneakers restock news. Now, they posted this image right here with three silhouettes, the Air Jordan 13, the Air Jordan 5, and the Air Jordan 4. And what people are guessing this is going to be is a restock of the Core Purple 13, the Air Jordan 5s, as well as the Red Thunder 4s. Best shoe out of all three of these would definitely be the Red Thunders. Salute to Z Seagerheads for this image right here of all three of the shoes not blacked out. No longer hidden characters unlocked. But this 
isn't for 100% fact. This is just what should be dropping, what people are expecting to drop. There could be something totally different. So keep your app notifications on, you know, something might come through. Of course, we got some Nike Dunks to talk about this week. And this first pair is this all over Animal SE Dunk Low. And I gotta be honest, these joints is kind of looking trash to me. These is kind of basuda. So I had to pull out a good Safari animal print sneaker. The old pair of Safari 95s right here, the size 11 that still breaks my toes, but they stay in the collection because they just they just look that good. And, you know, I got them for 75 salutes to a homie D. Is me talking about this shoe that I don't like just an opportunity for me to at least pull these out and talk about them? Mm, maybe. But if you do want these trash joints right here, there's no release date yet. Another dunk low on the way should be these joints right here, which is a reverse Kentucky dunk low. Blue, white, dunk low. What more do you need me to say? It's a clean colorway. It's a clean dunk. The only thing about this picture is these joints look like some kind of funny looking samples. So let's just say these are supposed to be releasing a supposed release sometime later this year in 2022. Then we got a Dunk High blend y'all seeing right here and this is the light chocolate Dunk High. Now these should be dropping on February 23rd and I will say out of all these new BS, BS, Dunk colorways that have been dropping. I think this is a good one. This reminds me of an old pair of maybe SBs, really. Just from the materials, the photo, that little bit of that mint chocolate, I guess you would say, that mint hit on the tongue. These, to me, are a solid, solid pair of dunks. Getting into something a lot more exclusive, only 120 pairs made. Blam, you see right here, and this is a brand new Oregon Ducks themed pair of Air Max 1s. Now, the only way you'll have access to buy these is if you bought one of the 120, I think it's called the Flying Formations Collection. This is an exclusive NFT collection made by Tinker Hatfield, which is why you get this official Nike Air Max 1. You know, Tinker Hatfield designed the Air Max 1. I think they originally dropped in 87. So if you were one of the people who were able to grab one of the 120 NFTs, you also get to get these drinks right here. I don't know if you gotta buy them. I don't know if it comes with it, but if you ain't got the NFT, you ain't getting these shits. Unless you got the chips on the hip to pay for the resale. You know how that goes. I don't really have much to say on these. These are very, very loud and definitely just 1,000% a collector's item. I mean, you could wear them. I wouldn't, but I get it. So again, a collector's item in my opinion. Another exclusive shoe linked to Tinker Hatfield. We have Fat Joe premiering this pair of threes right here being called the Air Jordan 3 Crater, just because on the bottom it has that Nike grind recycled sole. When I first saw these, it reminded me of my old Five Lab 3s. Now these don't seem to be 3M all over the upper or reflective all over the upper, it's just a shiny gray. They even gave these the Nike Air tab on the back of the heel. Right now, this seems to be a one of one shoe. They could drop, they could not drop. And I went ahead and paired this with that Air Max 1 news because on the left tongue, I believe, or the right tongue, one of the tongues of the shoes, you can actually see Tinker Hatfield's signature up there. So these, again, probably something that she ain't gonna touch, but hey, they exist. Jumping back to some NB news, the Todd Snyder 992 should be restocking on February 22nd at 10 a.m. on newbalance.com. Now these right here are supposed to be more of a luxurious, pair of new balances and they do retail at 250. It says something about vegetable tan leathers, the most incredible suede ever. You know, it's NB, so I believe them. 250 is a hefty retail, more than I would pay for this shoe. It's a good colorway. It will be a pass for me, but if you missed it, it is restocking. Then on February 26th, it's a lot of releases this week. We got the Bape and Vans collab. Now these should be dropping again on the 26th. And we got two models. We got the old schools. It's a low top and it's more green camo joint. And then we got the skate highs in the multicolor crazy camo look. And both of these pairs to me are clean. They do the job. Bape and Vans, the high tops if you want to go more crazy. Low top old schools if you just want the green joint. I personally don't wear a lot of Vans anymore but I still respect it. I understand. It's just an easy to wear shoe. Classic, classic shoe. And I feel like those high tops, just throwing some great sweatpants. That'd be a good, cozy, I'm about to run out type shoe. It's a pair of Vans, but you still get that little bit of Bay Flex on. You know what I mean? They just look a little bit different. This week, of course, we got some Yeezy news. First off is a brand new pair of Yeezy slides. Now this is the Onyx colorway. It is a darker gray and they should retail for whatever Yeezy slide retail is. I can't remember, I feel like it's 75 or 85 bucks, wherever it is, it'll be that. And I already made my review on Yeezy slides when the original colorways came out. I still feel the same. It's a uh, interesting weird kind of looking slide they are very very comfortable though 
and the Onyx colorway is clean. Now, another shoe that's dropping that is a Yeezy that I like a little bit more is supposed to be these joints right here, which is the same colorway in Onyx, but this is in a Yeezy foam runner. I have one pair of foam runners, and I gotta be a thousand percent honest with y'all. I love my foam runners, bro. I only got one gripe with foam runners, and that's just the sizing because. I would need a 12 and a half to be the perfect fit. The 12 is snug on my toe. But if you can get the right size in your joints, hey, the Foam Runners is a go. It gives you that Croc feel without having to wear some ugly ass Crocs. And yes, I'm still on my Croc hate for 2022, except the uh, Salehi joints. The Salehi joints. Those hit. With this next news, 2013, 2014 bull is going crazy because we have a new pair of Nike Air Griffey Max 1s. And these, as y'all can see right here, is an all over aqua colorway. It's kind of an alternate Seattle Mariners colorway. And these are hard. I still have most of my Griffies in my collection because, you know, King Griffey Jr. is my favorite baseball player of all time. So, I am biased to the Griffies. You know, I dig the Griffies. I got nothing but love for the Griffies, and I think this is another good colorway. This week's Yeezy release, though, is the brand new Dazzling Blue 350 V2s. Again, retail, 220, regular, regular, and the prices have been kind of scary on these. I even mentioned it before, when I top 10 of February, I mentioned these Dazzling Blues. While it's not one of my top shoes, the all over black with the color stripe, it don't miss. And while we're talking about black with a colored stripe, we actually got some other info of some Yeezy restocks for spring of 2022. And that is that the black and core red, as well as the Oreo joints, the black with the white stripe, are also supposed to be restocking this year. So Yeezy is not afraid to keep on restocking and restocking as long as y'all are buying. And if the Oreos or the Core Reds drop, these are selling out. Because I know the resale on the Core Red is crazy. Because I bought Anna a seven and a half in them joints. And at one point, I know them joints was over a rack. So I already know. When these come out, <laughs> whether people want them for the toe or for the dough, I'm going to judge. They going to sell out. Two weeks ago, we got those leaked photos of the Dornbecker Air Jordan 5. And now we know that the Dornbecker, full Dornbecker collection will be revealed on February 25th, my birthday this Friday. I don't know what time, I don't know how they're gonna do it, probably through Nike sneakers, but we'll be getting a look at all of the new Nike Dornbecker Freestyle sneakers on the way. This week, we also got confirmation that the red Oreo Air Jordan 6 should be on the way because we got some actual photos of the shoe, not just mock-ups. We got some from Z Sneakerheads. We got some other ones up here as well. And it is just like the mock-ups. All white leather upper with that red Oreo speckle on the midsole. They are okay. They're perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with them. White and red Jordans for the summer. I get it. Now, they should be dropping on June 4th. The white pair of sixes I'm waiting on is the Midnight Blue Jordans, I believe they're called. The ones that I got downstairs are crumbling from 2000. We also got new images via Joe Fresh Goods of a new New Balance collab on the way. Now these are on the 9060, which is a model. I don't even know if they've dropped yet, but there are two collabs on the way, or at least two colorways in this Inside Voices Joe Fresh Goods collab. Now I got two photos right here. One up top, which is of just the back of the New Balance, and then there was a photo of Joe Fresh Goods with the 9060 on. You know, little leaks, it's part of a rollout. And in the bottom photo, I couldn't find a clear photo of it. So you just have this blurry photo. At this point, after looking at both photos, I'm just waiting. When's the release date? I'll be there. Jumping back into some SB news, we have a blue raspberry pair of Dunk Lows. Now this could be the 420 release for this year in 2022. Last year we had the strawberry coughs which took forever to actually drop. And now we have these photos right here of this blue raspberry pair. I would say that the strawberry coughs, I definitely like the materials better. But these are bad, just seems to be all over blue suede. Who knows some of the stuff, the suede, they could tear away, could reveal something underneath. We just don't know yet. But here are the new Elite photos. The next one we got is a brand new collab from Ambush. Last year they did the Ambush Dunks, and this year they're doing a Nike Air Adjust Force. Now the Adjust Force was a shoe that dropped back in 1996 that I had no idea of until I saw this Ambush pair. The idea behind the shoe was that you could wear the shoe and then the adjustable straps come in different colors, like different team colors. So you could buy a shoe and then cop whatever color that you need for the strap, which is a cool idea. Now we have this Ambush collab in an all over black with this 
purple and pink gradient kind of insert with the black swoosh and i do like this shoe it reminds me of one of those if you know you know shoes just like if i'm walking around cdg moabs most people don't know that they're CDG Moabs, but if you know, you're just like, okay, I peep, I peep, I peep what you got on. And I get that similar vibe from this shoe right here. So if this one isn't too crazy on the retail, I more than likely would go for a pair, but sometime this year, they should be on the way. Now the next two shoes we got, I did see on IG first, but then I seen them on House of Heat and they were saying that they might be an official Nike collab. And that is the Who Decides War Air Force One. And we got two pairs right here, so salutes to who Decides War, salutes to Murder Bravado. And then I go on Nike Sneakers, Who Decides War is being talked about for New York Fashion Week on Nike Sneakers. So, hey, it could be on the way. We don't know yet. I still need to get me a pair of, you know, Bravado jeans. Murder Bravados, I'm gonna get a pair eventually. Either way, I do hope that this is an official collab and I would think that these are gonna be kind of limited just because of how crazy the embroidery and everything is but who knows and we'll see okay it is time to get into this week's official basuda of the week i'm gonna take y'all back to medieval times but before we do that we have adidas and craig green this was one i seen on basuda boys on a discord this is one that people were sending to me on twitter at me i seen it Blame. somebody did if this. you ever wanted to wear torture devices on your feet here you go. I don't even know how they got on them orange joints. Did they have to slide their foot in and then tighten up all the bolts and everything on the sides? These look like a punishment to wear, bro. Like you were sentenced to wear these shits for five years on your feet. These joints just look basura, pure basura. Now, these are the two main ones that y'all saw. The Home Depot threes and then you had the clog moon boot joints with the tube sticking out the side. And then I seen this Somebody one. So this. there are more of these Craig Green Adidas out there. And when I seen these, I thought, hmm, I feel like I seen these before. And then I thought, oh, wait, I seen these Sandy Cheeks. These are the Sandy Cheeks fours right here. I knew I had seen them somewhere, bro. All three of these are solidified Basuda of 2022. Some Basuda of the year for sure. And when Bacardi Bull comes back, I know he's been gone for a while, but he will be back. When he does, we'll have these for him to talk about. Now, you might think it will be hard to top these right here, but you got to remember, you got to understand, we have the world Basuda heavyweight champion in the building, Balenci, 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 Balenciaga coming in with these shirts right here. Blame. Somebody did this. This right here is the Balenciaga Chevalier Derby. Can someone say medieval times? Time. Some straight cable guy medieval times vibe with these joints. And the price, the suspected price should be somewhere around, I don't know, 2,500, 2,600. To walk around with the My Lord Taoist Basuda fives on your feet, bro. I'm sorry, I might've got it wrong. I, I, I'm not from back then. But Taoist Basuda my lord now when i look these up i found that there was more there is more stuff with this medieval theme but you know i might have to just save that i think that's enough for this week so y'all let me know what was the worst basuda for this week it's the craig green adidas the sandy cheeks the bikini bottom fours versus the medieval times 11s y'all let me know who hits worse. Listen, go ahead and get these shits off my screen. Please, thank you. So we can go ahead and get back to the heat, bro. Real quick, this week we did get some better photos of this Denim Air Journal 1. These are again going to be a women's exclusive and they do have the golden hoop earrings on the toes, on the laces. I know my mom had a pair of earrings just like this, so that's cool. I like the distressed look of the denim around all the edges. I think this is a good pair of denim ones. As far as a release date, they should be dropping sometime in June. Now we got to look at a third colorway in this brand new Union and Nike Cortez collab. These ones are gray, blue, yellow, pink, and interesting mix of colors. And you can really see it on this pair. These do have that Nike grind or that recycled Nike outsole on these. I am still not the biggest fan of this brand new Cortez, but Union now being in Cali, I understand doing a Cortez. It just makes sense. And hey, good luck if you are going for them. When I get official release dates, which I'm sure might come soon, I'll let you know. If y'all watch the Super Bowl, I'm sure y'all seen this one, so I'll keep it short. We have this slim shady pair of Air Jordan 3s, an Eminem Air Jordan 3, and I mean, it's another pair of 
Eminem Jordans. I mean, legendary really collabs. Some of the most expensive collabs to buy out there and they have this new pair. Now in some leaked news, three years later, remember when we were talking about those yellow toe Air Jordan ones? A few years ago we talked about them. Well now it seems like they are finally dropping. We have this photo right here and this is like premiere when I talk about those shitty leaked images. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Ain't no soul on the bottom of these joints. The size, the photo looking crazy, but it does seem like a yellow toe Air Jordan 1 is coming out. The yellow looks a little bit different than some of the original yellow toes we've seen or mock-ups of the yellow toes we've seen, but the yellow toes should be dropping this year in 2022. And then we had a really big story this week. Nike or someone from Jordan Brand officially came out and let people know that yes, or I think they talked to Complex. It was an official statement that said that the bread Air Jordan 4, or at least the off-white, the off-white bread Air Jordan 4 will not be dropping at this time. There's no plans to drop the bread off-white 4s. And this was a shoe that kept popping up over and over and over again last year. And now we have confirmation that, you know, straight from Nike, straight from JB, that this shoe more than likely will not be releasing. Now, I believe they said releasing at this time, so you can still hold out some hope that maybe they drop an off-white bread for, but for right now, it's just a sample for, you know, high up execs and stuff. It was not something that was gonna be dropping for everybody. That's cool and all, and I understand. I probably wouldn't have hit on Nike sneakers anyway, so it's all good. I am wondering though, where are the canary yellow off-white ones? I would like a pair of those. But listen, that is it. That is a wrap. Make sure y'all go ahead and drop a like on this bit. Y'all let me know that y'all cop anything this week or what are you looking forward to cop in the upcoming weeks. Much love to all the fan followers and of course supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Twitch. The Twitch is Bullet RC, by the way. Here, there, blah, blah, Of course, I ain't got my shoes. So, Bullet RC and I'm gonna see you guys next video. That's it. Talk me go edit. Much love. Peace. If you come here and try to take some, there's a lot more where that came from. And it really ain't no thing. I got some up here in this thing. I just dropped the jig in my red bull and it really gave me wings. Yeah, yeah, up and away.